My father always told me football is a gift from God. And God gave you this gift, just as he gives a song to a musician or a singer. We first saw him when he was only 15, and we knew straight away that he'd be a genius. He was just a kid, but was already training with the professionals. There were no signs of nerves as Pelé became the youngest player to appear in a World Cup final and cement his place in the history of the game. In November 1969, Pelé had scored an incredible 999. He got his chance to make history as Santos played against Vasco da Gama in Rio's Cathedral of Football, the Maracanã. With 13 minutes remaining, Santos were awarded a penalty. Santos's number 10 had established himself as the best of a talented generation of Brazilian footballers. He seemed to possess no weaknesses, combining pace and power with grace and subtlety. He had everything that footballer should have. He was a player of the highest level. Even today, I still haven't seen anyone I can compare him to. Pelé made everything look easy. He had great vision, he could dribble, he was quick. Sometimes I had to mark him as he moved about a lot. Whenever Santos were losing, he became a monster. He wanted to win whatever it took. He was intelligent. He was as good with his left foot as he was with his right. I 
I had great close control, which I think I got from my father. It would also take a lot for any player to come from behind and get the ball off me. I never saw him not want the ball on the pitch. He was always up for it, always getting us going. He wanted to win, he wanted to break records, break boundaries. Pelé was fantastic. He was the greatest example of a footballer I've seen in my lifetime. Today you get black players playing in every country in the world. Even in Sweden you'll see black footballers. I'm very proud to be Brazilian and to be black, and so to have made this contribution to the rest of the world. Because the integration you get today began with that Brazilian side. Cell title in 1977. But his main success was in the development of the game in the US. His fame and global appeal ensured that football became one of the country's most popular sports, an appropriate legacy at the end of a glittering career. Since his retirement, Pele has become an ambassador for the game. A whirlwind of pace and power on the field, intelligent yet humble off it, Pele transcends the game of football. Pelé's star will never burn out. Because even after all these years, since we've stopped playing, Pelé is still shining wherever he goes. Edson Arantes do Nascimento. Pelé. More than just a name, more than just a footballer.